Hi, I'm Jake, and it's time for November 2017 shop update. Here we go. Last week, my buddy Sumo had a shop update and I helped him out a little bit with it. So I'm gonna give him a call right now and see if he has any advice for me on my shop update. So here we go. Hey Sumo, since I helped you out so good with your shop update, you gonna give me any advice on mine? Well, hold on, let me put you on speakerphone so the microphone can pick you up. G'day mate, had a hand. I was having a yak to me old cobber true blue. He said last night he was crook as a dog, barking in the dunny. But he said this morning he was feeling better after he had his dad and Dave. Dad and anyway, mate, me and the missus are heading down to the big smoke for a barbie or maybe a dog's eye with dead horse. Oh, after that, that, we'll hit the frog and toad. And when I get home, I'll probably be in the shed with a frothy, have some tucker, and then it'll be time for bed. See you, mate. All right, Sumo, man, I'll talk to you later. I think he wants me to go in reverse format. I guess. We're going to try that. Let's do it. Since we're going in reverse format, the featured YouTuber today is going to be Gazia K. Her YouTube channel is called Woodworking Diary. She does a lot of stuff on Instagram, and... And I like her, man. She's smart and funny, and she doesn't mind showing her mistakes and shows you how to get out of your mistakes. And I can tell she's working real hard on what she's doing. And, and once again, she's funny and confident, and, and she's fun to watch. So go give her a subscribe, and then we'll be on to the next thing. So what I was able to do last week was I was on the Makers International podcast, which was so cool. I had a pretty good time doing it, and they're kind of along the same lines I am. They're wanting to help the smaller person to to get a little boost and and it's, it's pretty hard to be seen on youtube and and that's a pretty good way to do it just like i feature people and we're going to get the ball rolling on this thing and 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 help each other out so i'm going to put in uh, makers international podcast down below and all of the the hosts on there i'm going to put them below with all their social media and stuff they're a bunch of cool guys it was just like talking to your buddies man i had a really good time and you guys watching Thank you guys. Since the last shop update, I've had four videos, and since we're going in reverse order, the, the last one I did was the shadow box with a story. Now that, that particular video, man, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but the, the delay on it was I needed to tell that story correctly, and I, and I really didn't know how to do it. So I finally got it done. I'll put links to it up here and down there. Um, go check it out if you haven't. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. So, and everybody that left good comments, man, thank you. It, it means a lot. Uh, the video before that was <clears throat> the Live Edge catch-all slab. And that, that came out of necessity. I had a cool piece of wood that was given to me. I didn't want to get rid of it. And every time I'd go to leave the shop, I couldn't find my wallet or my keys or my, you know, I'd always lose everything and I don't think I'm alone in that thing. So I made that, that particular thing. And before that was the, the Aussie 4x2 challenge. You get a 4x2, with a, they call it 4x2, we call it 2x4. You get a, a almost an eight foot piece, uh, stick a 2x4 and you make something out of it and uh, there's certain hashtags you do on Instagram and it's just a it's just something fun to get out in the shop and meet some new people from around the world make new friends and and it it turned out pretty cool and and I had a good time doing it so if you're a maker do the 4b2 challenge the last video I'm going to talk about was a CNC inlay with V carve and I did that video because I needed to do, I was doing a project for a person, it was going to be a name, a name uh, thing for their desk, and they got promoted at work, it was going to have their rank and their, their name on it, and it's all fancy and everything, but it wasn't appropriate for me to show on YouTube, so I made, I made this thingy right here, which is pretty similar to what I did for the plaque, but it doesn't have their name on it. So I was able to practice doing that on this, and then I made the, I made the, the real project, and they were real happy with it, and which makes me happy. And 
and everything turned out really good. So those are the four videos I did before or after this last shop update. Now, what do we have in store for the future? The future I have a scoreboard for a cornhole game. It's gonna have cup holders and, and the ideas I have in my head, it's gonna be pretty cool. That's gonna be next. And I, I've been meaning to do it for a while, but it's next. And I'm gonna make a cabinet for my Craig Foreman roll around cabinet so I can take it to the work instead of take the work to it. And then, uh, it's still in the works, getting material and everything, but the one, uh, thing I forgot to mention on the podcast was I'm going to make a TARDIS. And if you're not familiar with that, it's off of Doctor Who. It's a real old deal, and it has a pretty good following on it. There's a guy named Josh at work that wants me to make a bookcase. It's going to look like it's coming out of the walls. It should be pretty, a pretty neat project and, and a challenge for me, too. I think it's going to be pretty fun to do. And I'm up for it, Josh, and we're going to get it done. And what else am I going to make? I think we'll just stick with that stuff. And then we're going to get ready for Make-A-Wish after that. We're going to make a bunch of stuff for to sell at the charity thing so we can give some money to charity is what we're going to do. Now, I do these shop updates for my subscribers, for my good subscribers that, that watch all my shop updates. And I, I feature all these people and I talk about these other people so you can go and check them out and see someone new. And then if, if you like them, you subscribe to them and, and, it, and it helps everybody else out. You guys get to, to watch somebody new and we get to get this ball rolling for some people that needed some help like I needed when I first started. So go check all these people out. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of links below and check out the podcast. That's a pretty good, they did. They sure did me a favor. Let's go, let's go subscribe to their podcast and, and watch, watch the thing and, and I'll put a link to my episode down there and you can go subscribe to them, watch the episodes. They're gonna have a girl on there this week called Make It Soaf. She makes stuff out of things that everybody else throws away and she does a really good job on it. So go check her out too. I guess I'm gonna have two featured YouTubers make it self and Woodworking Diary. And we'll see you guys on the next project. Y'all be good. Uh, her YouTube channel is called, okay. The bugs are out there. When you look this handsome, the ladies just glad <laughs> on your doorstep. When you look this handsome, the ladies just glad. That's great. You're killing me, Dirk. I keep laughing and I'm trying to make a serious video here, man. I'm a professional. Don't you know that? I'm gonna start over because all that sucked.